everyone, welcome to the final cut. Yes, we're continuing our cheesy sci-fi feature theme with The Astounding She-Monster. I love the titles for these films. They're just great, aren't they? It's from 1957. It stars Robert Clark, Kenna Duncan, Marilyn Harvey, uh, Gina Tatum. Uh, you, you may not probably rec recognize most of these people because they're mostly TV actors. Because just like in the tradition nowadays of your low-budget, uh, like, direct-to-video type films, that star a lot of people who were on TV, that trend hasn't changed in over 60 years. In the 50s, they were doing the same thing. So they got a bunch of these TV actors, and it basically is the story of these gangsters who kidnap this rich heiress uh, for ransom. They want to hold her for ransom. Well, they, as they're driving escape from town and planning, they put in their call, they get the ransom, they run across paths with the she-monster, alien, and they end up crashing and end up at the home of a ranger. So now they've got only not only kidnap the ranger, uh, but they also kidnap this heiress, okay? And these gangsters are so t stereotypical, they're pulled right out of a 50 gangster film, okay? But we see them there, trapped in the cabin, being tormented, uh, with the she-monster outside, with the gangsters trying to decide should they still go through with their plan of ransom or should they uh, take on the she-monster or just split town. Uh, folks, this is great 50s cheesy low-budget B sci-fi film, okay? Uh, you know, very little effects going on, except for the alien, which I kind of thought was cool. The she-monster, they kind of uh, double image her and blur her a bit uh, to give her this alien look, and I thought that was kind of creative. I mean, it's a very simple effect, and yet it still gets the idea across of her being unearthly-like, okay? And then the dialogue in this film is just a trip. I mean, these guys, the gangsters, so stereotypical. Best line, though, uh, let me get this right, the best line in this film, one of the gangsters goes, uh, the way you put your foot in your mouth, oh, excuse me, the way you put your foot in your kisser, I'm surprised you don't have a case of athlete's mouth. I mean, <laughs> you get great dialogue like that, and I love these cheesy sci-fi films. That you get just over-the-top crazy dialogue and lines in there, you know, and it's a, it's just a one-shot type of location. There are not a whole lot of locations in this film either, and the She-Monster really doesn't have any dialogue either. In fact, this was Shirley Kilpatrick who plays the She-Monster. This was her only role, and she doesn't really have a lot of lines, if at all, in this film. She's just there to look creepy and to stalk these guys, and she does that very well. A uh, good, interesting bit of trivia I found off of IMDb on this, though, is in one scene when she she's in this cabin, uh, she ended up splitting the outfit she has. And since it's low budget, they only had one outfit. So she ended up in the scene walking backwards through a good a number of her other scenes where she's wearing it, the outfit because it is split down the back and it was their only one that they had. Uh, you know, that's the type of film you got here. Nothing fantastic, but it is entertaining. And it's short, only maybe like... 67 70 minutes and change so definitely worth a watch uh, just to take you back to a simpler time and a simpler uh, view of sci-fi and that'll about do it for us here at the final cut till next time keep the